In this video, I'm going to show you how to do that cool, subtle zoom effect in Premiere Pro and After Effects. So first off, we're going to show you how to do the zoom effect in After Effects first, then move over to Premiere. So this easy little effect is great for music videos, but also YouTube videos too. So let's jump into it. So in one of my last videos, I showed how to do a cool shake effect to add a little bit of interest into music videos. So now we want to add a zoom effect to that. This point here we want to zoom in, and then that point there we want to zoom out. So we, in order to do this, we need to add some keyframes. So get to the point we want to zoom in, which is about there. So press S on your keyboard and then Shift P to bring up the position as well at the same time. And click these little stopwatches to add a keyframe. We're going to zoom in with the plus keys. And I'm going to move forward about five frames. One, two, three, four, five. And from here, this is where we want to zoom in. So I'm going to scale up to around Let's go, let's really zoom in to 200%. And then with the position, we want to frame it up so she's roughly around the center, like so. So now we have this effect. Next up, we wanna zoom back out when she throws her arms forward, like that. So that's the point where we want it to go back out again. So we're gonna come to about here, click this little diamond, on both the scale and position to add the keyframe. Zoom in with the plus keys. One, two, three, four, five. Move five frames. Then we want to zoom back out to 105% and reposition back to roughly where we originally were. Now that looks okay, but we want to add a little bit more source to it. Highlight the first two keyframes, right click, keyframe assistant, easy ease out. And then the second keyframes, easy ease in. And repeat that for the next transition. So it's easy ease out and easy ease in. And next we want to highlight both the first set of keyframes and click this little graph here and this brings up this little menu. And if I zoom in with the plus buttons, we're gonna grab this little tail end here and move it all the way to the right and repeat that all the way to the right. Now what this does, it starts slow and moves in fast to the actual keyframe. And let's repeat that for the next set of keyframes. So grab this and pull it all the way to the right, both handles, and as you can see, the graph will be slow and then speeds up to the end. So click on the graph editor again to get out of there. So now, when we play back, it zooms in a lot more smoother. So now I'm gonna show you how to do this in Premiere Pro. So first up, highlight your clip, and then go to the effects controls. And what we wanna do first is set our anchor point. So click on anchor point, and you should be able to see this little icon here. We wanna set that into the middle here. So when we zoom in, it will zoom into that point. So for example, if I move it down to the microphone, when I scale, it will zoom into the microphone. So let's just reset that a second. So let's just move that into the center of the eyes there. And next we will find the spot where we want to zoom in. Hit the stopwatch on scale and position. Hold the shift key and hit right once and that will move five frames. So we're gonna to zoom to about 125 and then just ever so slightly adjust the position. We don't need to do too much here. So exactly the same way as in After Effects, you can tweak the easy ease and easy out. So let's just zoom into these keyframes. Let's highlight the first two keyframes. Right click and hit ease out. And then the other two, right click and ease in. And another thing we want to do is just click the drop down menus on scale and position. You can see we've got a graph very similar to After Effects. And if we zoom in, highlight the scale and move the handlebar all the way to the right and the other one to the right. So this works exactly the same way as the After Effects graph. So now it'll move slowly and then get faster into the next keyframe. And now we want it to zoom out about here. So again, we want to hit these little diamonds to create a keyframe then I'm going to hold shift and right twice this time and then we are going to zoom back out to a hundred 
percent and move the position ever so slightly about there if we're being picky highlight both keyframes to make sure that it's eased out and then the last keyframes eased in so now we have this and there you have it it's a real easy and simple effect to use but it adds a little bit of interest to your edits hope this video helps and i'll see you in the next one